Hey guys, it's Emilius and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're going to be loading in the last saved game and carrying on from there. All right, welcome to episode number 15 here. So we're just made our way outside of the Risen Road here, as you can see. So we've just finished the encounter that was basically with the gnolls that we had there. We've already looted these, of course, here. There's a, quite a lot of stuff that we can now do. But looking at where I stand in terms of health, I probably could do with a rest. But I don't think I will give it a rest right now. So what I will actually do, I'm actually going to go back to camp and pick up stuff that I can subsequently sell. But I do want to go to the Emerald Grove. I've got some missions here, as you can see. Save the refugees, etc, etc. So is there a back door here? There is an area here that looks greyish. I mean I haven't been through that door yet that could well be as you can see there's various different locations here investigate Kaga ah investigate the swamp anyways we're gonna go back to the Emerald Grove environments it's a quick way of basically getting back here I love that little smile that he's got on his face Oh yeah, she is meant to be able to speak to animals. And of course she can only cast that on herself. It doesn't say that it's only for herself though, does it? Hmm, interesting. Unrelenting ferocity. Torgy, okay. So... Oh yeah, I do actually also want to go to the smithy here and have a chat with him because I do believe the smithy might be able to help Karlak with some interesting stuff. Yes, please. I actually haven't even looked into these crates yet. Ooh, there's some food. Good. And some clothing. Always good. Uh, clothing. Hold on. Let's do it like that and we're going to send that to camp. Send that to camp. It's always a bit tedious having to do all this Santa camp stuff, but okay. Zoru. Please. That's the guy we basically had the confrontation with earlier and then he came back. Okay, let's see what this particular guy here can do for us. I sensed an inferno around here. But you aren't from Elderell. I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against <laughs> my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elderell. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... A little gift from Zariel. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Be my guest. Well, wow. don't get I like too it. close or your eyes will melt shut. You, you really are wow. burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. Wow. I might be able to help. I'd need infernal iron and a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving okay. the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, It'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. <laughs> Look at that smile on her face. I've sensed some during our travels. It has a, a pull to it. Absolutely magnetic, once you know what you're looking for. 
I can show you where I'd look. Meanwhile, I've still got plenty of weapons and armor in stock. We're looking to Okay. Nice. Do I want to sell this? The rotten eggs and such? No, I don't think so. There must be some kind of use to it. <laughs> yes, I'll basically sell you a severed head. It's actually worth one. How utterly lovely. No, Helson's pipe, we're not going to sell, that's for sure. Let's sell that. Cool. He is happy still. Um, he's got a fair amount of work. What we're going to do is we're going to quickly go back to camp. And in camp, I will make my way. Yeah, I'll make my way back to the chest here. And see what we can do in there. Crikey. Is there anything else there? Yeah, rotten carrots as well. We can send those to camp. That's got a substantial impact. Arrow of Dragon Slaying, interesting. Anyways, so we got lots of armor here, as you can see. And I'm overburdened. Carrying too much stuff with me, which can happen. Ah, Channeler's Trunks. Periwinkle Undergarments. Interesting stuff here, possibly. I'm not sure. Burnished necklace. Yeah. Silver locket. So I'm at 109. I'm no longer encumbered, but I'm, I guess I'm heavily encumbered. One nineteen. How fares the search? Do 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 do. Okay, so this old stuff. I don't want to sell the rape here. Okay. That's good. So why did I even take that with me? I don't want to basically do that. So let's send that to camp. I'll be back and forth for just a moment, bear with me, whilst we're just getting rid of some of our excess gear. 
of which I should have a substantial amount anyways. So let's sort this by type again. Move that to the top, expand this. As you can see, there are loads of weapons that we got here. Including a flail, etc., etc. What's the difference between a heavy crossbow and a light crossbow? It's the matter of damage output, isn't it? Okay. I actually got two rapiers. Interesting. I thought I only had one. Okay, that's fine. This one, that is worth quite a bit, isn't it? Oh, gosh, I've got still so much armor here that I just need to get rid of. Oops. One second, guys. Apologies about that. Let's just have a look at the wares. As you might remember, we got tons of wares that we basically want to sell. And of course, we got too much here now. So, what could we potentially get in exchange? We got a short bow plus one. We're currently using a long bow, it's four to eleven. So this has got a low, uh, higher base damage. A hunting short, but what's the difference? Okay, so it's got an extra mark on there. Plus, of course, the price goes up. Fellow animals, you have advantage against monstrous type enemies. Hunter's mark. Okay. Mark a creature as your quarry to deal an additional one. To six piercing damage okay lovely interesting hmm ring mail chain mail hide armor padded armor which is what we got already safeguard shield basically gives an extra saving throw modifier for the rest, this is all the stuff I just sold him, so none of that's really of much use to me. Okay, there's a dye remover. Green dye, pale blue dye, muddy red dye, green dye, ocean dye. Hmm. I could potentially do with that one. Okay, so that's good. Sixty four to go. Eleven to go, okay. Three to go. I think we're good with this particular mix. So we got a new... Well, as you can see, there's a modifier on there as well, which is plus one. Let's just organize these a little bit before I send them all back to camp. Okay, one final time of basically visiting camp. I just want to double check if I got any infernal iron at all in the traveler's chest. And then really we should be able to go at that point. So, I've got 
some irons here, I'm sure. So bronze ingot, okay. I'm sure I got more ingots than that. As you can see, you got three specimens. Bronze ingot. I got a bronze ring, okay, I can take that again with me. I'm sure we should have some more ingots of sort. Okay. Nature snare. <laughs> Lovely. This is not really a good weapon, is it? Anywho, let's uh, get going. So we need to travel. We're currently up here. I need to make my way down there. So what's the closest? It looks like this might be the closest. Uh, actual fact. Yeah, let's carry on like that. That's fine. Carry on. We've been through that wooden chest already. We're gonna make our way down here. That's of course where we've been. <laughs> I probably could have just walked from here. If I'd only properly looked, that would have been really easier. I think we'll just cross the bridge here, to be honest. And then from there, I'll just head south. Due south. I'm gonna skip the village here for just a moment. Yeah, I'm not that far off from basically being at the next level. And another 500 XP to be able to get to the next level. Berries, always good. Well, hello. Well, hello, who, what, where? Collapsed borrow, okay. Rogue's morsel. That's curious. Ah, lovely. Okay. Always nice to see that we can actually pick up more stuff here as well. Let's send this one onto camp as well. Wow, look at all of that. The one advantage an elf holds over a gift Yankees. What have we got here? So we got fleet figures. Once per turn after, where a dash or takes a similar action, they can jump without using a bonus action. Interesting. So that's a good alternative there. Potion of invisibility, a smoke bomb. Etc. Etc. Okay. 
Nice, nice selection of items. Anything else here? I don't think so, but you can never be too sure. Do a quick check, quick save. Ah, animal carcass. Anything else I can spot here? Is that another beehive? It looks to be another one. Interesting. Where? Who, who said that? Ah, up there. So we're going to avoid them for just now. That is holy. I've never clapped. I drop the act, hag. <laughs> you was the last to see. Me. Just let her go. That's the same hag I actually met in the. Uh, Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Okay. We we won't ask again. Mm-hmm. Sweetie, be. He's with. Don't bloody stand there. Get him, really? Really? Is that the way you want to play it? So he's got 10, he's got 9. Wow. Got to concentrate. Heading there. Okay. Yes, here. One XP, really. I'm ready. I smell blood. Okay. Need to learn the hard way. Oh my! I I didn't mean for this to happen. Okay. She's there, little. This is a Marina. That poor thing would be. I'd best get going, but please. Oh wow. Less helpless than she made out. I don't trust her. I probably gave those two idiots an easier death than whatever she had planned for them. Let's read this. Time to pack it in for the day, I think. Hmm. It's mine now. Okay, so that's the wetlands, and there we need to investigate cargo. Ouch. Crikey. Chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Okay. DC 20. 13, 14 plus... Nah, forget about it. I fail. The place has a quiet... Okay, I do. Sorry, I got ninety XP. Blood everywhere. Someone wasn't as fortunate in 
their choice of campsite as us. Uh, red caps, no doubt. Wasteful creatures. Okay, let's read this. Is there anything you can do with this? No. Alright, let's do a quick oh, short rest. I hope a wound is starting to rot. This is down here. Diseased. So I'm diseased. So what can we do about diseases? I'm not sure. Interesting. Wow. Something over there. Uh, silver ingot, okay. Certainly. I can pick that up, I can pick this one up. This way. Interesting. Barbed bull rush. I need to head further south. Got our wooden trunk. Okay. We can jump to there. Druid Sanctuary. Initiative. How lovely. Ooh, boy. A wood woad. Lovely. I probably could have done quite well with some... Yeah. Other stuff. I must have advantage against them. I don't have an advantage against them. So what could I do for now? Mm -hmm. Okay, if I put a hunter's mark on someone, I cannot at the moment. Okay, I did damage him, but that's about it. Okay, he summoned something, didn't he? Mud method. Sorry, they can multiply? That's what it looked like. Or did he just move himself somehow? Oh, they are slowed down as well. Interesting. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to basically go into a rage, which is a bonus action. And I'm going to go that away. Moving. Summon extras, okay. Dash. I miss. I miss. What do you mean I miss? Really? 
Okay, well that's one less, that's for sure. Can I do anything else with her? I can advance, but that's about it. Dashes or flies, whatever it is he does. Not a wood woad. Okay. Hunter's Mark. Okay. To examine them. They are susceptible to fire. Hold on. Is that right? No. So currently he's wet. And whilst on service he's wet. Okay. Resistances to fire. Lightning resistance. Okay. So should I use this or should I use that? Five to ten. A miss. Crikey. Mud. We're covered in mud. Really. Lacerate is do, 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 until a short rest. Until your next, you have advantage on attack rolls, but enemies also have advantage against you. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I broke his concentration, that's nice. Mud breath. All right, so if I move there, as you can see, I can do a sweeping attack or I can do a cleave. And I miss him. Lovely. Get myself an extra action, which allows me to take him out. So I cannot cast bless because I'm out of options for blessing. I can do sacred flame. What have I got? Enemy attack rolls in the uh, disadvantage, okay. Removes burning and the entity becomes resistant to fire damage. Interesting. Alright. Question is, can I do cleave pretty much every turn? That would be great if I could. damage. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Ok, 
Okay, I thought I might jump, and the jump... Question is, which jump did I do? You miss. Oh, I'm rotting. How lovely. Seven to eighteen. Fourteen. Yes, nice. Okay, you fly there. Lovely. You summon yet another of one of those methods. Lovely. Okay. We're covered in mud. Uh, lacerate. I've done the cleave and I can do that until the short rest. I've got four superior dyes, which will recharge. Nice, both of them are gone. Guidance, turn on dead. Blessing of the trickster. Okay, invoke duplicate. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Within three meters of the illusion, attack rolls have the advantage for you and your allies. Oh, that's quite nice. I saved against the vines, which is good. Okay, with a punch, okay, fine. Wow. Okay, so... I know I've got advantage against some of these. Six. I did six damage. Really. Utterly lovely. Okay. Punch, okay. He misses, okay, fine. And then he flies away again. So, Carlag. I did a 10 damage, okay. Not, not too bad. Push them back as well. Move forward. You fly into there, you punch, and I can use my shield to offset that. Okay, so I can attack you. Really? Four damage, really. Lovely. Okay. You fly in, you do an attack. Mud breath. Okay. Okay, so she's gone down, which happens. Okay. One less to deal with, which is great. OK, 
Can I throw something? No, I cannot. Reapply it, okay. Oh, I forgot about you. Of course I miss. Of course. What else would I do other than miss? Nice. 20 XP. Always welcome. Dash. Stay focused. Okay, can I heal her somehow? Of course I can help her. Nine hit points back. Okay. Miss, okay, fine, perfect. Really, again? Oh, and again. And again. It's the same. Sweet. So let's go back to this young lady here. Time to strike. I will ascend. I've got a ranged attacks as well. Okay, it was two damage, but still. Yes, you take me down again, but at least you don't take down the others, which is good, I would say. Hold on, I don't have an advantage? Critical miss. Oh, it's regeneration is on. Flies in again, and who's he gonna attack? He's gonna attack my rogue. Untangled Asterian, okay. Oh, 
Really? You're still alive? How do you manage that? Nice. Okay. Incoming. How did I miss that? Swift and lethal. Yes. Wow. Wow. Nice stuff that he's got, that's for sure. That's mad. What do we find on here? Wings. Anything else here? A couple of vases. Isn't it glorious? Mm hmm. The Sparkle Hands. Conduct strikes on a hit with an unarmed attack. The wearer against two lightning charges. Well, I don't have a monk. That would be ideal for a monk. But of course, this is great for myself. Looks like the tree mentioned in Calder's note. Well, where was that? Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's have a look. Let's read that. Okay, I'm pleased that the ride of Thorn has begun. Depart soon from Clockwood to Baldur's Gate. Should we need further any yeah. Emerald Grove will be Shadow Druid Domain and it's and you its first druid. Interesting. Really interesting. Okay. So what I think I need to do, I think I need to go and have a kipper, have a bit of a rest. This should be a good place to do that from. <laughs> Just getting extra fruit and such is always welcome. Now that's a nice shield. Pass that onto her. That looks pretty awesome. Look at all of this though. Hmm. Twisted branch, twisted branch. Let's send these to camp. That can go to camp. These can go to camp as well. That can go to camp. Camp. Let's send that to her. That can be added into there. Empty potion bottle.
Okay. Just sending a couple of these to camp. Just making sure I read them beforehand because again, it's just books that I'm just carrying with me. And they all use up some of the weight that I'm allowed to carry. Ooh, there's a chest. Interesting, before I go, let's firstly go to the chest. All right, mud. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to loot that vase and then we're going to call it a day. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you next one. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.